Why has the Ohio River Valley been a subject of a controversial and fascination for many years? Well, it might be because of the Serpent Mound effigy, which rests on the ridge of a meteorite impact crater. Who created it? Well, it's believed to have been created by either the Adena culture around 320 BC or the Fort Ancient culture around 1070 AD. Several years ago, I had the chance to interview Serpent Mound expert and author Ross Hamilton, who explained this celestial phenomena associated with the mound. The serpent's coils all began to line up with very prominent celestial events on the horizon and did so not only very promisingly, uh, but also very thoroughly in that you can get all of the major um, solar alignments, equinoxes, uh, rising and setting points, and solstice, rising and setting points, but you can also get an entire array of lunar alignments. The Serpent Mound in Ohio is not the only one that exists in the world. There are very similar mounds located in Ontario, Canada, and another one in Scotland. All three of these mounds were created in close proximity to impact craters, which are millions of years old. Somehow, they were aware of the geological significance of these sites, and they regarded the areas as sacred land. In my interview with Ross Hamilton, he discussed what some people experience when they visit the Serpent Mound. There's something really awesome about walking around the Serpent. Some say that there's a physical phenomenon of fault lines that causes this to happen, and that the electrical energies become so polarized. Well, these fault lines, when you cross over one, there's this place that's sharp as a razor's edge that transforms your soul and your mind and everything. It, like, totally cuts you up spiritually so that you have to reform your plasma essence. Hmm. And, and you don't realize you've been reborn until you've taken a few steps. And then suddenly you realize something just happened to me. For years, historians and archaeologists have debated the origins and meanings of the mounds. And some even say they are a connection between serpent symbolism and energy currents. This is because the basic form of a snake is similar to an energy or sound wave. And yes, there are also magnetic anomalies that occur at the crater. Recently, we've been able to apply new technologies and discovered uh, that magnetic anomalies uh, and electro, electromagnetic anomalies, gravitational anomalies, uh, have hindered um, archaeologists and, uh, and other researchers from discovering that the serpent had a, a north orientation so the serpents could be symbolic of magnetic field currents which have a spiral snake-like form when observed by advanced technology. Well, even an, a newer proposition is that the serpents are symbolic of sperm. Put on your gloves. This idea originated from the theory of panspermia, which holds that life emerged elsewhere in the universe and was spread to Earth through something such as an asteroid, space dust, a comet, or even a meteor. Those who subscribe to this theory see Earth as a womb or an egg in the space rock that impacted it as sperm, which is eluded by the serpent being near craters. Regardless of what you believe, the truth about serpent mounds may not yet be fully uncovered. But these beautiful, incredible formations will likely create intrigue and speculations for generations to come. If you liked this interview that we did with Ross Hamilton, please check out many of our other shows about topics and, and unsolved mysteries. And please subscribe, share this show, and always thank you for supporting Truth Be Told.